everyone, I'm Colleen with Awaken Catholic and this is Awaken the Saint. Some people might think it's boring, but for most, living a stable life and knowing what awaits us each day is reassuring. Today's Saint Robert of Newminster watched his fortunes change radically, but remained steadfast in his way of life. Robert was born at the start of the 12th century in Yorkshire, England. He might have been considered boring by other children his age. He was uninterested in most forms of entertainment and preferred to spend his time in prayer, reading, and productive work. Naturally, he made the decision to study for the priesthood and was soon ordained. After his ordination, he returned to the place of his birth to serve as rector. However, he did not feel suited to this position, and his great zeal drew him to a lifestyle of greater asceticism. He was attracted to the rules of the Benedictine order, and entered into the Benedictine Monastery of Our Lady in York. When a dozen or so monks were expelled from the order for trying to restore the old Benedictine rule, which was much harsher than what was being practiced at the time, Robert felt called to join them. They were given some land by the Archbishop of York, but even so, the first two years for this little community were positively harrowing. They were mostly friendless, living in utter poverty and struggling every day just to survive. For a long while, they housed themselves in a ramshackle hut and ate whatever they could find. Even in this sorry state, they continued to observe the Benedictine rule without complaint. Their ongoing efforts did not go unnoticed, and word began to spread of this stubborn little community of monks living on practically nothing. The Dean of York was so inspired that he joined their number as a novice, giving up all his wealth to provide them with more appropriate buildings for housing and worship. Their home came to be called the Fountains Abbey in reference to the natural springs that surrounded it. Even with their situation improved, Robert and his fellow monks did not allow themselves to become lax in their ascetic practices. They supported themselves by working outside to grow their own food, and when they were not working, they threw themselves into prayer and devotion, all with a joyful attitude. A number of these monks went with Robert to establish a monastery in Newminster, and in the midst of this holy community, Robert was the shining star. Everyone sought to emulate his behavior, but none could match his zeal. He fasted more strictly and more often than any of his brethren to the point where they feared for his health. He also spent hours in prayer each day and was said to have the gift of prophecy. As the abbot of Newminster, he carried out his duties joyfully for 21 years, during which time he assisted in the founding of several more monasteries before his death in 1159. As much as we try to steer our lives in a direction that we think will make us happy, there will inevitably be changes we cannot avoid. Robert's devotion reminds us that the only real constant in our lives is God, and his guidance is designed to bring us the kind of joy that isn't diminished by painful circumstances. St. Robert of Newminster, pray for us. Thank you for tuning in to Awaken the Saint. Awaken the Saint is made in partnership by Spoke Street Media and Awaken Catholic. To see our other ministries, including parish missions and pilgrimages, visit awakencatholic.org.